uh, when Paul was making his opening comments, he, he said that, uh, that Patrick was chosen to be the moderator because he knew all of our names and he knew things about us. Well, we know things about you, Patrick, and they're very disturbing, right? Name and where you're from, please, sir. My name is... <laughs> my name is Rob Adams. I live in Sedona. And um, when, I, when I went to the rollout of the 10-year plan at the uh, community college, it was a couple of years ago, I guess, I was shocked at what I heard. And because of that, uh, at the time I was the mayor, I decided that something needed to be done about the inequity of the funding distribution between the Prescott side and the Verde Valley side, as well as the, the inequity in the curriculum that was offered. So I took a lead role in forming in what became uh, the committees that are now the board advisory committee, as well as the uh, uh, committee that advises the Verde Valley campus. And I just want to thank the committee members for the work that you're doing in holding the president and the board members accountable for those inequities. First of all, um, when I became mayor in 2008, and I don't want to harp on that, but we, were, we started the economic downturn. And one thing became very, very evident during that downturn, and that was Sedona was at huge risk in having one primary resource as its income production, which is tourism. We have one industry here. So I got very proactive in looking at, uh, for other ways of developing industry here in Sedona. <clears throat> and, the th and, the th and there were four things that came to the surface. One was Culinary Institute, hospitality. That's a, that's a natural here. I had long conversations with the President Penny Wills about uh, bringing the Culinary Institute into Sedona. Uh, she directed uh, James Perry to go out and actually do research uh, throughout the country uh, to find out what it took to create a Culinary Institute and whether it was financially viable here. I don't know what happened to that. Secondly, uh, uh, I, I applaud the folks from Zachy Gordon coming here, the Film Institute. I do believe that that could be successful if it had the support of the community college that they need to market it. Uh, thirdly, education in the arts, and that's been brought up in various forms here. But I think that it's, uh, again, a natural for Sedona. You build on what we have here, the reason that people come. And so those are the things that you look for in terms of building industry, right? You don't try to build something that's not going to fit here. So that makes all the sense in the world. Uh, so it's, it's the culinary, hospitality, uh, education, the arts, uh, uh, filmmaking, those are all things that just make sense here. And I think if, I think if the people and the... Oh, time. Time. Time for what? 